What's going on guys? It's your boy Zero Cap. I'll bring you some quality video action, Prototype 2. And I haven't posted a video in a while, but um, this mission was pretty cool, pretty complex. You chase this guy, Ronald, Rando, Ronald? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, it's not Rando, but it is Ronald. And he's one of Mercer's goons that has these effective powers and he spawns like this tentacle monster. It's like he's Japanese, man. Like some Japanese otaku with the tentacle action. So you go down, you gotta kill all, all these guys, and I found that this one guy had like a DNA thing for extra points, so I got 3,000 experience just for killing him. And I ran up to this tank and took the weapon off the, I guess it's a law launcher, and just bust the launcher off. And it's a lot easier than running up and killing the Hydra yourself. You see me just running around and shooting the fuck out of it for rockets. And whips me toward it. Get hit a little bit. And a bunch of other guys start spawning. So I know I'm in trouble. So just take it down real quick. Drop the launcher and run away. I don't want to fight by all the military guys. Because the gunfire still does a little bit of damage to me. And the blue lasers are when they're aiming rockets at you. So you don't want that to happen. So what I figured out about this game is that you can block and basically shield bash the people and then that's when the buttons pop up and you can get free attacks from them. So I'm just constantly running away, spamming block, not really attacking too much, and then I just shield bash. Easy peasy, you know? There's a option, or later in the game, or actually later in this mission, you get spikes on your shields and then you do more damage, which is pretty cool. And it just kind of reminds me of, like, other things, man. You're like a knight in, not in the old, I don't know why I'm thinking of Old West, but like a knight in King Arthur's castle. You're just, like, laying the smack down with your shield, like, lance a lot. You're like, boom, bitch. Take a shield to the face. I kind of want to hit some people in the face with a shield right now because I think it'd be pretty funny just to smack their teeth out. <laughs> it reminds me of the movie Swingers with Sue when talking about how bad a man he is, how bad man he is, how bad of a man he is when he's just smacking the guy's face in the curb and blood is flying out and teeth are flying out. Anyway, so you enter the lair, you end up fighting these guys, plus like a brawler guy, which is the dude with the uh, uh, rocks for arms. Rocks for arms, it's like he drank too much protein and he got too swollen, you know? So same strategy, you just block and end up killing like his two minions real fast. And I'm just doing that the whole time. So, this game is pretty cool, you know. I've been playing it for maybe like a day or two. And I didn't play it when it first came out for the consoles. Um, so, it's all totally new to me. And um, I'm just finding all these powers and just doing the missions. Having fun. And I'm just Matrix style dodging over these guys and just pretty much just laying them up. With, shield ashes because that's what happens you end up suplexing people when you do that and I just kind of kite this guy away the big protein protein guy away so he can't really want to sight me to throw rocks at me and I just bash the other guys in eventually I ended up killing them and we do that right now I think I'm about to absorb a guy pretty soon and the thing with this game you can absorb other people for like XP like you saw me do you can get side missions from absorbing people you can get extra powers if they have like certain icons over the head like a, a small muscle is like an offensive power and then a face is like hunting power and then like I think it's a shield which I haven't seen is a defensive power so I chop this guy in half and the best way I found is to deal with these rock guys since their attacks are pretty much ineffective claws and also the tendrils, they don't really do too much, so I just find random explosive objects and just chuck it at them. And I get my Devastator up and I just unleash the big attack. Now I can do that pretty fast because I can just consume people to get more Devastator or more mass. And also by attacking, by just swinging the claws, I also get that as well. So when you see me hit the guy, you see it going up. And it's going up now. Shield Bash again and I'm going to suplex this guy or cut him up. And I just attack him until he's dead, and then it's consumed, and I'm back to fighting the other guy. And you see my mass just keep going up, so pretty easy. And I get my health back also when I consume. And I've seen so far in the game that there's tons and tons of infected everywhere, so you don't really have to worry too much about health. 
And of course there's helicopters and shit like that. And if you take them out, I end up consuming him. And that's pretty much the end of the video. You're going to see me get a new power called Hammer Fist. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more. Part 2 coming soon. Peace.